हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन टैक्स सो टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम ऑफ द बेसिक टैक्स ऑफ एचटीएमएल लाइक पैराग्राफ लाइक बोल्ड इटैलिक लाइक अंडरलाइन स्ट्राइक थ्रू सम ऑफ द टैक्स एटसेट्रा so like um, this is the first page that we have created so right now what i will do i will just save as this page to create a next page so that um, every page i wish uh, I, i have showed to you that is actually i am creating a next page for everything so that is built in basic tax so guys what i will do right now i have just opened the wikipedia to copy some content so i am just copying some content from wikipedia and pasting to my web page you can see now i will save the page i will go to my folder where i have saved the website i will open it you can see now i want to show you some of the things like you know this is just a note part whatever the formatting that you will do here that will not accepted by the browser once you doing save this page don't need to open it again just refresh the page you can see it will not affect any formatting that is done by you because here we have to use everything as a tag okay so right now what i have done i have just uh, created a page that contains uh, uh some text and here now i want to add some formatting i want to do some formatting as i told you it will not accept any formatting that is done by you by using an and or anything else okay so like you know whatever we speak the first letter always contains as a tag if you speak bold so b is a tag of bold if we speak paragraph so p is a tag if we speak underline i told you first letter the underline always starts with u so u is a tag a strike through s is a tag italic i is a tag so what i will do i am just going to be uh, write some of the uh, tags so i want to make it bold so i am starting bold i will close the bold now i will save it i will see in the browser what is the result yeah it comes bold now i want to make it italic so i will say i there is a rule in the html whatever a tag that you have started at last you have to close at first so you can see i have started i after the b so here i have to close i first you can see save this page and go to the browser and refresh this you can see this also becomes italic as well as bold now i want to make it what underline i will say u i will close the u okay now if something i want to put inside strike through as like the price cuts and the price becomes with new price you can see it's cutting now if i want to put a paragraph load paragraph i will close the paragraph you can see the paragraph comes now whatever the paragraph i want to make i always put inside the p tag you can see now if you talk about the heading so heading is always done by h so h is actually not a tag h contains their values that is h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 so we have a six types of heading whatever the size i want of a heading i can do it but keep in mind one thing now we are in a field of internet so we have to follow the rules of google as well so according to the rule of google whatever the thing that you want to make as a main heading you have to use an h1 and subheading is always goes in h2 if it doesn't make any sense ki like if you want to use a small size we can customize the size in the future that is not a problem for us so i am using an html i am using as an h1 for my heading this is a first big heading now i will use h2 
now you can see I can use a different different headings for creating a different different containers different different heads so I have done with h3 now h4 now h5 now at 6 save it and open the browser now you can see I have created different different kind of heading according to a requirement you can use any kind of heading so these are the, the basic texts of formatting now we are discussing about the attributes and properties before that we have discussed about what we have discussed about the tags so p is a tag that we have discussed now we are talking about the attribute what is attribute attributes always put after the tag like if i am putting the align align is an attribute <coughs> and if i want to align the content in the center so i am putting center in the double inverted commas so whatever the property that comes after the is equal to in the double inverted commas is always known as property align is an attribute center is a property just give you one thing every tag have a different different attributes and different different properties according to their requirement so right now i'm putting align to the heading so alignment are four types left right center justify by default is left and here we are writing the english in the american system so we are writing the center spelling as c and t e r you can see <laughs> now if I want to make something to the right or left or justify supposed to be I'm making making this paragraph as justify I can also put line and justify you can see it becomes justified this paragraph now if you are putting more content then it will be visible to you very good so I am putting more content inside it okay it is now proper aligned now we are discussing about some of the attributes of a body so like body is a tag and if i want to put a background color to the body we have a attribute that is known as bg color bg color works with the table tag as well as the body tag so i am putting some color here you can see i will refresh the page the background color will come and if i want to put some color that is a code that is known as color codes okay so like supposed to be i want to put this color this color so i will copy this code by using the colorpicker.com and before this color code i will put hash then the color code you can see same color will come that i have copied now if i want to put some text here i can put text i can put some text color now if I want to put some margin from the top, I can set top margin. So, and this value is in the pixel. I can set top margin as well as I can put left margin. So that we are using a, a basic system. We will do in right now with everything with the uh, CSS. But these are the basics of HTML. That's the reason we are doing with the basics from the HTML okay as in a profession you will use a CSS for this <coughs> you can see I have done with some formatting tags <coughs> thanks for watching our tutorial if you like our tutorial please subscribe our channel that is Ashwini Bhatia thank you